Hey everybody, I've got a head gasket ordered on this, so we're just waiting for that to come in. I ordered it today, it's June 16th, I should probably get it sometime next week. So in the meantime, I'm waiting for that. If you've been watching the videos, you probably know what tractor's up next. going to be the 64 Sears Suburban 600. So let's do a little walk around this thing for a little bit. And remember, this is 1964. Look at the detail on that. The hood's rusty, surface rust, but look at the detail on that. Barely faded. Go over to the other side. We'll take a look at that one. Almost perfect condition. Let's take a look under the hood here. Go to the other side. Still has that sticker on it. The engine shroud, take a look at that. It's dirty, but it's going to clean up. But in good shape all those decals are in pretty good shape 1964 you probably will not see another one that has decals that good original so I'm going to set this camera up and what we're going to do today we're going to check for spark because I don't remember if I did I think I did but we're going to check it again anyway, because I don't think it's on camera. Um, I think we checked it when we first got it. So let me back off here. So the first thing we're going to do is check for spark. Remember I told you the story on this, it sat in a garage for 10 years. The guy, he had it, got done using it, parked it in his garage, then soon after he died, and it sat for 10 years. That's a story I know. So we're going to check for spark, and then we're going to put a little gas down the carburetor and see if she fires. If she fires, we'll take it from there. My viewing pleasure, huh? Mm -hmm. For your fans. Uh. Oh, so half mine. <laughs> nope, I don't think we had this out. I know we checked for compression, though. Let's take a look at this spark plug. 
first. Oh yeah. It's all right. I'm going to clean the spark plug up a little bit anyway, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Let's try. Let's check for some sparks here. Okay, so no spark. I know her camera was in the way, but that's all right. You, you can use my footage. So I'm going to check the points. Sorry. And uh, let's do that. Sorry, audience. Okay, we're going to check the oil in this thing, too. So I'll do that before I start wrenching on it. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But yeah, there's there's oil in there. Wow, and it's clean. Look at that. It looks like brand new oil. Like he did an oil change and put it away. Unreal. I bet you you don't find that in many tractors you buy used. Awesome. I don't even have to do an oil change on this, it looks like. I got a good feeling about this tractor. Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to set this camera up and we're going to take that shroud off. Okay. Let's get to wrenching. This is pretty much identical to the 59 David Bradley, because this was made by David Bradley. Um, some of you probably know, some of you probably don't know, but I had an accident with the David Bradley, 59 David Bradley. Uh, it tore my leg up. Uh, tore tendons and muscles. I had a hole in my leg like that big. So, yeah, I'm a little weary about this tractor. Especially, this tractor doesn't have any brakes either. And it doesn't have a kill switch. Either did the David Bradley. Guess what? It's getting a kill switch. I just mean, since I'm going to have this apart, I'm going to run a wire out from it for future kit. Uh, Future kill switch. I don't have any switches on hand. But same thing is going with the David Bradley. And I haven't even touched that thing except when I parked it since that happened.
That's pretty long. Need to get some more wrenches, looks like. We'll be back. Never find them. start pounding on it I want to try something else I don't know which way actually which way that goes left or right I don't know I know I've seen it on YouTube I might look real quick but I, I just don't remember uh, I actually went on YouTube because I wanted to make definitely sure and it was a it was the way I was going to do it. So, but there's a couple of them. One is I'm not going to do is put a pry bar between the fence here. I did that one other time to get the nut off my off the flywheel on my ST10 and I broke a couple fins. This is, no, we're not going to do that. Bad idea. So, hopefully I can come up with something that'll work. Maybe I can, uh, wedge this pry bar up in here. Now the clutches I did see, they had quite a bit of quite a bit of metal. These are just tiny little ears. I definitely do not want to break one of these. And I had a I've got this soaking in my 50-50 solution. So we're gonna try a couple different things first. I'll try the pipe wrench if I can get it in there. Which I don't know.
flywheel is moving, but I think by beating on it, it's been on here for I don't know how long. Just beating on it for a little bit might loosen it up a little, you know, and then I can lock the flywheel. in here too to give it more support. Guess who wins? That's right, I do. Alright, I'm going to get myself a... a socket to fit over that. Try to get this flywheel off here. Got an impact ratchet uh, socket on there. Don't want to use a regular socket. Not as not as uh, strong. I'm gonna get some sandpaper and we'll sand in there. Okay, so the way I do this, and I'm sure a lot of people do it this way too, I just take a little bit of sand, sandpaper in there, close the point, see that close? Great bow. Probably a good idea to hold on to the point.
flip it around. Do the other one. I'll do it a couple more times because I don't want to go through all this again and I'm hoping this is the problem. I hope it's not the coil. I'm not saying this rust off. I mean, I might as well. I've got it apart. I might as well. Get stuff clean. Okay, let's put it back together. <laughs> Let me fix that, all right? <laughs> you don't have to watch all this bull stuff again. All right, now I got it together the right way. Sucked if I wouldn't have found, if I wouldn't have saw that. I'm just wondering how many of you caught that. There you go, baby. Thank you. Have a sweet. How many of you caught that that I didn't put that cover back on those points and condenser and said to the said to the video don't forget that or you forgot that yeah I caught it though You know what, I think that's just too close. I mean, that is almost... That is almost riding on that. And I believe it should be like, I don't know, business card I heard? Because that's what I use, and that's what I've heard. I'm going to pause.
does this, then I'm just going to raise that up because I'm running out of tape and my battery's half done. So. So I'm going to stop the tape. I'm going to raise that coil up a little bit. We'll get back to you. All right, everybody. I got it all together. Let's see if we get some spark this time. I hope. I hope. Was that spark I saw? Let's try that again. That looks like spark. One more time. Oh yeah, we got spark. Alright, now I guess um, I'll put some uh, Gas down in the carburetor. We'll see if this thing will fire. So what else did you do to it? Just clean the point. And uh, gas the coil. Because I know it was too low. You're using your new magnetic Yes, I am. It's handy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh oh. What do we got in there? Oh, it's oil. That's right. Oil bath filter. You know, the old, the old way of doing stuff. Perfect fit. <laughs> That's going to be enough. Okay, here we go. Everybody. Cross your fingers. Pull number one. It fired. <laughs> She's going to run. Ten years. Sitting. Let's do that again. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank God. I might have flooded it. She'll run. She's gonna run. Alright. I'm gonna clean off. I'm gonna clean out the sediment bowl. We'll put gas in the tank. And then I'll have a full supply of fuel, and then we'll start her up again. Hang on tight. Okay, I've got some gas in the tank, which was clean. The guy that owned this must have took good care of this tractor. Open up the uh, open up the valve. I got a little gas leak here coming from the sediment bowl. Well, I can't get that float bowl to uh, 
sediment bowl stop leaking. I'm sure it needs a new gasket on it. So we're just gonna start it up anyway. Ready? Yep. Remember, it's been 10 years. the carburetor needs cleaning out probably and then adjustment but other than that you no know, so 
little sissy blue runs again. It kind of sounds like she's straightening out a little bit. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to.